What is up guys and welcome back to New Game Plus. Today we got some actually amazing news for the world of iOS and uh, enabling JIT for running your emulators. Some of those emulators that need JIT, especially like the 3DS emulator and Dolphin uh, emulator for GameCube and Wii. You need to use JIT in order to enable those. And as you already guys know, if you're running iOS 17, if you try to enable JIT on Side Store or all server, you will not be able to enable the JIT with iOS 17. Due to the changes that Apple implemented, is not as it used to be before. Because before iOS 17, we used to uh, use a universal um, this image for enabling JIT, but now for iOS 17, JIT creates a, uh, a specific uh, this image for your device. And if you try to run it using, as I mentioned before, Site Store or our server, you won't be able to enable the JIT, giving you an error. But today, well, a couple of days ago, the Site Store thing actually developed a way to enable JIT on iOS 17, and I've been running it. And I tested it out and it's actually running pretty good. The only caveat of using this new method is that you need to be in a local network so you won't be able to do it uh, like wirelessly like before and any what I mean by that is using it on any Wi-Fi. So you still could use it wirelessly but you have to be in your send home network in order to use it. Not like before like a like you were used to before that like you let's say you could be in some other somebody else's house and be on Wi-Fi and enabling it no you need to run the, the the JIT server locally in your network in order to activate it but you're still interested in this you could still watch this video and I'm gonna show you step by step how to set this up properly because now yes you're able to use uh, JIT on iOS 17 but again this is locally this is a big disclaimer so you guys know before you start uh, watching the full video following the tutorial if you're still interested I'm gonna show you now how this is done now that we're still here and you actually want to go through with the installation of Sajid server uh, let's go ahead to the next step the next step is barely simple you just need to install iTunes from the Apple website as well as the iCloud the reason we're doing this is because the Microsoft version, the one located in the Microsoft Store, has a lot of issues and it will break the whole process. The one that we're gonna install is gonna be right here from the, gonna be the one right here from the Alt Store website, which they have the original files, which is still gonna take you to the Apple website. The reason we take those files here is because one of the files is missing on the Apple website and it's kind of hard to find it so this is making everything a lot easier. After you're done installing those files, please make sure you reboot your computer because if you don't install in both of the files, it's going to ask you to reboot your device so you got to make sure to please make sure to reboot your device in order to continue with the next step because if you try to do that, all the following steps, it's going to give you some error and we gotta make sure to please reboot your computer. After rebooting your computer and getting everything installed properly, now we're gonna head up to the python.org uh, website and we're gonna hit, we're gonna go to downloads and we're gonna download this version right here. All the latest version available in this part right, right here that you guys can see right now. <laughs> You're going to install Python you're gonna install it and make sure when you before you click on install right here at the bottom there's an option to um add the path to uh the .exe file make sure you select that and install it now that you have that installed the next step for this is to open a uh, your windows click on the windows key and search for pow uh, windows powershell you're gonna open the powershell and you're gonna enter the following command you're gonna enter pip3 install dash dash upgrade and you're gonna type exactly how you see right here and you're gonna click on enter now when you click on enter the next the next thing is gonna follow is it's gonna this is gonna start searching for all the necessary files for the SideJet server as well as gonna install um, everything that's necessary to run this properly 
it's gonna take a few seconds maybe a few minutes or so let it finish do not close the powershell window wait until you see at the bottom of the powershell window is gonna say your c drive username and that's why you know that's how you know it's done completely doing the installation the next step for this is you're gonna plug in your ios device because we need to pair your device with a server in order to this to work properly so after you have your device plugged in we're gonna open another powershell window and we're gonna open it we ask administrator privilege so we're gonna open we're gonna type powershell you're gonna open powershell you're gonna run it as an administrator click on yes and you're gonna type the following command this is going to st uh, uh, start the pairing process so when, once your device is connected it's going to appear uh, your device we on the side server after you get uh, the message that the device was um, plugged in properly you're going to get a message on your ios device asking you to trust the device you're going to click on trust and it's going to pair your device we side server after that is done, just close this. And now for the final step, you are going to need to grab the shortcut, which is right here in the link. I'm going to have everything down in the video description, the link so you could get access to all the gen, the links. And you're going to grab this shortcut right here, side jet. You're going to install the shortcut. When you install the shortcut, you're going to be asked the following. They're going to ask you for you use the ID and they're going to ask you also for the server address for the UDID, ID. Now that you have iTunes installed, you're going to open iTunes. When you open iTunes, you're going to, uh, you're going to plug your iOS device. When you plug your iOS device, you're going to click on your device. When it shows up on iTunes, when it does that, we go yeah click on your device and right over here where you see the the by serial number information you're gonna click in here until you see something called you the ID So your number, you the ID, you're gonna copy this information right over here. And you're gonna use that information for setting up the shortcut. You're gonna enter that information for the you the ID. And now the next step is for you to actually find the, the address that you need to put inside of the shortcut in order to work properly. So to get that information, we're gonna do the following. You're gonna start another PowerShell. You're gonna run it as administrator. You're gonna type site jib server dot exe. This is gonna start the server. You're gonna see a bunch of addresses that start showing up here. This is not the one that you need to pair your device, not yet. The one that you're going to need to pair your device is going to be this one right here. The last one. This is what you're going to enter inside or you um, shortcut. After you enter that information in your shortcut, you could actually run the shortcut after you have all that information in there. And when you run the shortcut, you're going to see this window right here reacting to all the information you're gonna see the information there that is acting to react into the window here
What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. Are you sure about that? When this is actually working now, they're gonna ask you when you connect to your device which app you would you like to run with it or the ones that you have installed. And when you do this, it's gonna open up the app and it's gonna launch with G Enable. The app's gonna be running with Jib as long as you don't close the app, it's gonna be running with the Jib. So it's gonna make things a lot easier for you. And now it's going to ask you for the app that you want to run, select it, and congratulations, your app is now available with it. It's just a little bit um, step just to save you, and this is just to show you how everything is working properly. So now actually you have iOS 17, you could enjoy having Jib on your device, and enjoy the your emulators or any app that needs to use any Jib, and once again, the only caveat is that you need to be in a local network, but if you're around your your house or you have a laptop and you have this installed, you now are able to use JIT on your iOS 17 device. So this is all possible to do to the site store team being working in, um, on this because there's been a lot of requests from people for enabling JIT on iOS 17, but now this is possible. I know it's not as it used to be with um, SciStore, but this is the only workaround as it is right now due to the complication to Apple be with the uh, iOS 17 update. But thankfully we had this and it's working again. So thank you guys for watching. If you find the video very helpful and informative, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.